Hello boys and girls. In case you need any assistance with note values and measuring bar lines, we'll be doing that today in this video. First off, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the note values. We've been introduced to the whole note. The half note and the quarter note. So the whole note takes up four beats, all four beats in a measure. The countings are one, two, three, four. And that's how it's spelled, whole note. <clears throat> Half note kind of looks like the whole note, but it has a stem on it. And they take up two beats each. So this one takes up two beats, that one takes up two beats. Now we see over here, the quarter note. Quarter note looks like a half note, but it's shaded in. And they all take up one beat each. Now, some of y'all should have um, already had this written down. Those of y'all who don't, well, here's your opportunity to really learn this. So we start with a whole note here. Take the four beats. We break it into into its half. So half note that takes up two beats. Half note takes up two beats. We break that down even further. What does half to? One. What kind of note gets one quarter beat? Uh, one beat quarter note. And you shade in that circle. Now right here we see four quarter notes take, the, take up the same amount of space as one whole note. Two quarter notes take up the same amount of space as one half note. Two half notes take up the same amount of space as one whole note. So there's that information right there. Now we need to figure out on how to draw our stems. When we draw our stems, we start them on the note head, but we also got to pay close attention to where they are in relevance of the middle line or the third line. In our five line staff, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth line is in the middle. Now let's say we have half notes. And going down we have quarter notes. That's a little tricky, I know. If the notes are below the third line, the stems go up. Some people are very picky, excuse me, some people are very picky on how high the stem needs to go. As long as I can identify that the stem is going up, I have no issue with that. Now, if the note is on a third line or above, the stem goes down. So again, if the notes are below the third line, the stems are going up. If the notes are below the third line, excuse me, above the third line, the stems go down. So that's how it's supposed to be drawn. You will never see something like this or like this. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so never have that down. Looking on your worksheet, boys and girls, at the bottom, it is asking you to add note heads or stems to the note heads. We're going to do an example here for a five line staff just so I can explain it to you. And if you need to rewind this video to check out how the notes, how the uh, stems went, by all means you can do that. Just for an example, let's do the line, let's do the space notes. This one right here is above the third line. 
stem's gonna go down. This one's below, stem's going up, above and below. Now let's say we have quarter notes. Quarter notes, line notes. Quickly identify, oh, this one's below the line. Third line, this one's right on it. Above, above, below. So if you're looking at your sheet, don't forget to add the stems on the note heads. There is no such thing as a half note without a stem. That's a whole note. Also, if you look at your sheet, the first few questions are in bass clef, then the next set is in treble clef. In case you forgot how to identify the notes in bass clef or treble clef, here's a quick reminder. In treble clef, the line notes, Every good band deserves funding. Some of y'all might remember it as every good boy uh, deserves fudge, perfectly fine. And the space notes, face. Now let's look at our bass clef. Our line notes, you might remember it as good burritos don't fall apart. And the space notes, all cows eat grass. E C. Sorry, A, C, E, G. And there they are. So that should help you out uh, with the majority of the, of the first side of the sheet, note values. Also, if you're looking at the bottom, it's asking you to figure out what, uh, what the word is, whether it's cage, B, edge, uh, face, fad, um, bag, egg, also, pay close attention to what they are, if it's in bass clef or in treble clef, and if it's asking you for whole notes, or looking at this, it is asking um, whole notes twice. Yes, just twice. It's asking for quarter notes a lot of the times, and half notes. So make sure you follow the instructions for those. Let's go ahead and flip to the other side. Measures and bar lines. Is this so I can have a little bit more room. On our five line staff, music is divided into measures by bar lines. Bar lines are just like how they sound, they're just lines. They go from the top line to the bottom line. Now, usually, a piece of music is done or finished with a unique bar line. It's called a final bar or a double bar. And it looks like this. One thick line, one skinny line. That's the final bar. Now in this example up here, let me draw my clef. Beautiful, I know, thank you. We have one, two, two regular bar lines. Now, if we have to count all the bar lines, including the final bar line or double bar line, we have one, two, three. Now, how many measures do we have? Well, what exactly is a measure? A measure is the distance between two bar lines. How many measures do we have in this piece? You quickly say one, two. You're not wrong. However, here at the, at the beginning of the piece of music, this is also considered a measure. So we actually have one, two, three measures right there. In this example up here, the one on your paper is completely different. Not by too much, but it is a little bit different. Don't just mimic what you see up here in this walkthrough. And right here, student assignment. 
Draw two half notes on a C, draw four quarter notes on a G, second, fourth measure. Take your time to read the instructions carefully. A lot of students always rush through these and, well, yeah. So, number two, follow the instructions below to complete the exercise. Draw a bass clef, divide the step into four measures, include a final bar at the end. So we need to have four measures. One, two, three, here are three. You need a fourth one and this one right here, and this bottom one. Write the letter names around each, excuse me, in each measure, draw four different pitch, uh, quarter note pitches, and double check the stem direction. Draw a circle on the highest and draw a square on the lowest pitch. If you need any additional assistance or one-on-one -on -one assistance, Tuesday morning during homeroom will be, will be an appropriate time for you to come down and ask for any additional assistance with your worksheet. And don't forget, this is due Tuesday. If I get this by Tuesday, you still receive full credit. Thank you. Have a great weekend.